Jace Tunnel here with the University of Texas Marine Science Institute uh, at the Mission Aransas Research Reserve. Today we're going to be talking to you about a beautiful flower and a vine that grows in the dunes. And so you probably have recognized this if you've spent any time at the beach at all. Uh, along the sand dunes we have, there's a couple different names for it, but railroad vine is kind of the most common name. And you can see here, it has these long runners that start at the top of the dunes and then come down. And there's, the other names are, you've probably heard of Beach Morning Glory, uh, or another name is Goat's Foot. And why do you think they call it that? Well, you can see there, it kind of looks like a goat's footprint, right? Well, that's where it gets its name. Uh, some cool things about this plant are, of course, the flowers are these uh, real nice purple looking flowers. Uh, it's summertime, so these things are in full bloom right now. Um, uh, the other thing is, this is always one of the first plants that uh, establishes on a dune. And so they're real salt tolerant. Their seeds are salt tolerant. They can get in the salt water. They're not gonna die. Uh, they do just fine. Uh, and then once the, it stabilizes the dune, you know, it allows for other types of plants to be able to come in. And so, you know, another real common plant that you might find is, uh, you know, the sea oak. Now, you'll be surprised with uh, some of these here on, uh, you know, these are found all over the world. Uh, there's some subspecies that uh, people use in different countries. Um, you know, to reduce uh, inflammation, uh, gastrointestinal issues, uh, colic in the Philippines, the subspecies over there. So, uh, you know, we see it here as just a beautiful flower, but, you know, in, in other countries, uh, they're actually using this, uh, these types of things for uh, medicine purposes. So with that, hopefully now you know a little bit about some of the vegetation that you see growing on the dunes. And uh, if there's any other type of things you want to know about the sand dunes and things like that, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to bring it to you. Till next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.